The Warriors playing host to Oswego in Week 2. Demetrius Gray, part of a talented Wabonzi wideout group. Tommy Wooten in the defense, tested first in this one. 0-0 first quarter with Panther Ryan West slinging it on third down. He finds Brett Wainwright up near the Warrior 38. Same drive, McKeel Stewart busts down the D, picking up the Oswego touchdown. However, Oswego's offense would become familiar with Wabonzi's linebackers. Three consecutive sacks, first by Austin Lakey, then Wooten, and another by Andrew White. The Panthers fail on their fourth down attempt. Momentum Wabonzi still in the first. Second and long, Austin Guido stays patient in the backfield, then releases. The junior back would need 12 yards for the first down. He opts for the 74-yard touchdown instead. Warriors tied at seven on the Mitch Stefani pass. With the offense clicking, Stefani finds another favorite in gray. Number 17 hauls in the 38-yard pass and in two strikes, Stefani with 112 yards of offense. Warriors go up 14-7. Big sequence in the third. Panthers four chances on the goal line. Wainwright stuffed on third down. On fourth down, West fumbles the snap, but the away team comes up with the ball. Panthers down 20-14. Warriors too much though, 27-14 after Guido's third TD. This would be his fourth. They'd rack up 477 yards of total offense and getting to 2-0 for the first time in head coach Paul Murphy's seven years. I mean, it's great. You come out, you know, do everything works your way, but 2-0 means nothing if you don't get the conference opener and you don't, you don't play well in conference. We, we really focus on how he moves as a quarterback because he is a D1 quarterback and he's very big and very elusive. So uh, we, we, we watch his footsteps and uh, as he would throw, he would look one way the whole time, so he wouldn't see the outside. So we'd always bring the outside, and then sometimes we'd bring both sides, so he'd be confused around the middle, where our D lineman could easily get him. 